Hey, kumusta na mga ka-partners? Speaking of partners, ito yung second session ng ating partnership formation. So, yung una, it's about two individuals joining together and forming a business for the first time. Forming, forming a partnership for the first time. Ito naman pangalawa, itong pag-uusapan natin ngayon, it's about two individuals who has previous business or mga sole proprietor na sila dati. And then they will join together to form a partnership. Now, like we said last time, ang isa sa pinakamahalagang bagay dito sa partnership formation is yung valuation. Kasi gusto ng bawat isa, kung, kung, kung sino man yung mga partners mo, whether two or three, na yung inilalagay nung, nung isang partner dun sa, sa bagong partnership nila, dun sa business, is tama yung mga valuation, tama yung values, yung amounts. Kasi ito yung magiging basihan ng hatian nila ng profits. So, napakalaga nun. Now, dito naman sa dalawang ano, dalawang individuals who are sole proprietors. So, meron na silang business before. So, meron na silang books of accounts. And let's say this is A, may books of accounts na siya. And yung KB, may books of accounts na rin siya na sole proprietor. So, i-join nila yun kasi yun rin yung i-contribute nila na asset. So, therefore, kailangan... Kung, kung i-join nila yun, no, kailangan tama yung valuation or adjusted. So, common lang dito na may mga adjusting data kasi pagka, let's say, pagka nag-open sila ng bagong libro, kailangan yung combined na adjusted na yun na, na amounts have correct valuations. So, the, the steps here in in opening new books for the two sole proprietors who formed a partnership is that let's say si A and saka si B no, they have previous businesses i-adjust muna yung KA and i-adjust yung KB and then after that i-close na so after closing and then mag-open sila ng panibagong new set of books so, ito na yung adjusted. So, combined na yung amounts nila. So, having said that, we will take this up, itong example nito. So, A and B form the partnership. The following are their contributions. So, si A, nag-contribute ng cash. Si B, wala. So, dash lang. Si A, accounts receivable of 100,000. Si B, wala. Incidentally, ano ba yung accounts receivable? Ito yung collectible dun sa customer. So, well, obvious na merong business si, si A na sole proprietor dati. And then, the third asset na kinontribute, ega e, nagmumula kay B itong building. So, B is in building. No? <laughs> so, building for 700,000. So, ito total lang natin yan. So, five, 500 plus 100 and equals 600. So, KB naman, just bring down yung 700,000. Now, there's additional information. Ito. Looking at the additional information, the accounts receivable includes a 20,000 account that is deemed uncollectible. So, ibig sabihin, hindi na makokollect na to. Itong 20,000 na to. Out of this 100,000 A. So, tatanggalin natin yung 20,000 na yan. Now, that has a direct impact dun sa capital niya ni A or sa equity niya so mababawasan yung yung equity niya so again ano yung mahalagang ano di, mahalagang bagay dito na kailangan natin malaman yung valuation ng mga capital balances nila after forming the partnership the next additional information is that the building is under depreciated by 50,000 so itong 700,000 na raw yan hindi na ito yung yung accurate na value maaring nabili siya couple of years ago so nagdepreciate nakalimutan i i bawas yung 50,000 sa ngayong ngayong let's say dun sa books ngayon yung carrying amount nung ano nitong building so ibabawas natin yung 50,000 and another the third the point here is that the building has an unpaid mortgage of 100,000 so, naka, na yan, may naka-attach na mortgage. So, this is to be assumed by the partnership. So, ibabawas din natin yan 
dun sa 700,000 na building ni B. So, madali lang ito. Like I said, this is partnership accounting. Easy as A, B, C. Pero wala si C dito. So, A and B muna. So, total. There. So, ano-ano yung mga, ano -ano yung mga nag-contribute ng cash for 500,000. So, sulat lang natin. Yan. And then, so, lagyan natin 5 para kitang-kita. Wala ito. So, lagay lang natin dito 500,000. And accounts receivable, AR na lang. Ha? So, magkano yun? This is 100,000 ba? Babawas natin ito. Yung 20,000. So, magiging 80,000 na lang siya. Yan. So, wala siya. So, 80,000. And then, yung building, BLBG na lang. Yan, parang building. Abbreviation na lang. So, 700,000 ba ilalagay natin dito? Hindi. Kasi merong under-depreciated. So, ibabawas natin yung 50,000. So, ilalagay natin dito, 650,000. So, less 600. So, this one is 650,000. There you go. So, kunin lang natin yung total assets. So, these are assets. No? And so, this one is 580,000. This one is 650,000. And this one is, so how much is that one? So, this one is uh, 730. Oh, sige, computer mo na. Okay. Kukuha tayo ng, ng ano, para mas madali. So, this one is 500. Yung ko, mas magaling ka sa akin magani, Mag, compute-compute uh, na ganyan. Eh. Plus 80 plus 650. And so, this one is 1,230,000. 1,230,000. And so, now, meron pa siyang liability. So, lagay natin dito, liabilities of... How much yung mortgage? Mortgage payable of how much? Kanino yun? Ayun, meron doon ano, meron raw na mortgage of 100,000. So, ibabawas natin to. So, lalagay natin dito 100,000. Let's extend the amount of 100,000. So, kunin natin yung, yung difference niyan. This would be 580,000. And then this would be 550,000. And this would be 1 this would be 1,130,000. There you go. So ito na yung ano nila, yung capital balances nila after yung adjustment. Now, let's provide the journal entries. Now, yung journal entries, ito lang yung parang depiction ng mga ano, yung mga ni-record natin, in-adjust natin yung mga pinag-deduct natin or in advance if as the case may be. So, this one, so, gagawa tayo ng journal entry. So, ibaba natin ganyan. Yan. Alright. So, journal entries. Dito natin lagay. Journal entries. So, there should be cash Equal combine na natin pareho. There should be cash of 500,000. And then there should be accounts receivable of 80,000. And building. So, ito magpapansin natin lahat ng, ano, lahat ng assets nandito sa debit side, nandito sa kaliwa. So, magkano building? That's 650,000. Ito naman lahat ng mga, ano, ng mga, yung mga liabilities and yung capital or equity na dito sa right side or sa credit. Ibig sabihin lang nun, yung normal balance nila, kung asset sila, is nandun sa debit side. Ang normal balance naman, so lahat ng increases sa assets, dinidebit natin. Lahat naman ng increases sa 
sa sa liabilities as well as yung capital we credit that this is depicted by A is equal to L plus E or assets is equal to liabilities plus equity now if you want to check out yung yung basic accounting na yun, I placed the link in this video so dito naman ilalagay natin dito mortgage payable so makikita natin yung sulat dito sa credit medyo naka-indent siya so mortgage payable this one is how much is 100,000 ayan there you go and of course the A capital so ito na yung capital ni A this is how much kung magkano lang yun no? 580,000 and yung KB naman yun this one so 550,000 you see it by the way there yan so na, na extra pa yung alcohol no? so yan yung sponsor ko for this pandemic so B capital which is 550,000 there you go so yan so yung balance ng debit sa credit pantayan okay so we have uh, practically prepared the uh, yung sa accounting for for two sole proprietorship joining to form a partnership now if you have any questions you may write your comments questions and of course subscribe and if you have any let's say topics that you want us to discuss as far as accounting taxation and business is concerned just feel free to comment subscribe stay safe and god bless